Hello and welcome back to another How to Make Commas Fighting Mobs video. Sometimes the hardest part to figure out is what to fight to make money. Just because you drop a lot of resources doesn't mean it's worth anything. Well, hang on because that's what this video is for. This video is going to show you where to spend your time and your effort to level and to get the most bang for your buck. What resources can I drop from the enemies that sell in the market for the most money? This video is going to be part two of the Astrib area. In my last video, we covered areas levels 10 through 15. In this one, we're going to be looking at level 20 areas because there are quite a few here. This is Astrib right here. Over here is the Astrib forest. Up here, this is the gobble area, Astrib Tanella. We've got the Astrib quarry over here to the right. And then you can't see it here, but you can go under the city to the Astrib sewers. The entry point into the sewers is one south from the zap. There's a little hole next to a building. I'm going to show you a picture of it. You can see exactly where you get into the sewers. That's the other level 20 area right here in Astrib. The four areas that we're going to look at, if I bring up the encyclopedia, we have the Astrib forest with the boars, millaboo wolves, prespix, squirrels. We got the quarry with the rot seers, Astrib sewers. You got these rats and arachnes and Tanella. This is where all the gobbles are. And just as a quick recap, if you haven't watched any of these videos before, basically what I do is I go through and I make a list of all the resources that are unique to these areas. As you look at this table, you'll see that the blue area represents the Astrum Forest, the green is the sewers, the yellow is the quarry area, and the red section is the gobble city up there to the north. What I did was I took the average price of these in the market, and I divided that out against a drop rate, and then I calculated that against 100 fights. But that's just to put everything on the same playing field against their drop rates. Now obviously, prospecting, trophies, equipment, if you're a chance-based character versus an earth-based character, if you completed a nice challenge, if you got multiple people in your group, all those things can have an effect on how many of these you might drop. So these videos so far have been solo fights, but after this, I'll be using my four-man team that I'm using on my quest to 200 to continue to be able to move into the bigger areas and give you guys better representation of what you can make. You'll notice when I bring the list up of how much money I made in these areas for 15 minutes, you're gonna notice that the numbers are not all that impressive. And it's because I had a hard time finding mobs that met the requirements that I needed for just fighting by myself. Now, if you do only have one account, and perhaps that's all you can have. Maybe your computer isn't capable of pushing for more characters. Maybe you don't have the funds to fund another character. Then what I recommend is you get yourself a sidekick. Sidekicks are a way of having an extra character in your group without having to subscribe another account. Now you can go to the market. I believe they're underneath the equipment market and you can find some sidekicks there. Also, you can get one for free. Let me bring up my achievements here. And right under general, if you scroll down, you'll see that if you get to 500 achievements, you get a free sidekick. This is the Astrib Knight. The way the sidekicks work is they will start out at the same level as you and they will level as you level. So if you're level 35, your sidekick will be 35. When you reach 36, your sidekick will go to 36. If you keep pushing a little further to 1000 achievements, you get two more. You get Crowbox and Trank. You'll get both of those for free if you get yourself up to 1000 achievements. Okay, now I'm going to go over the results. The first area I went to was the Astrid Forest. And here you want to fight the boars and the squirrels. What you're trying to get are boar snouts and squirrel fabrics. Now the snouts have almost a 50% chance of dropping. It's a 44% chance of drop rate. The fabrics only have less than a 5% chance of dropping. So you don't want to be chasing the squirrels. You want to go after the boars. If you find a group that have both boars and squirrels, then it's a good fight to go for just for the fact that you might drop one of those fabric. Now I feel like the mobs up here are pretty easy. The press picks are kind of the tricky ones because they can turn invisible. But aside from that, you can stand your ground against these guys pretty easy. Just make sure that you keep your distance from the boars because they got some pretty serious pushback damage they can put on you. I tried to stick to groups of one to two. I did a couple at mob of three. Again, with a craw, I'm able to keep my distance pretty good. Now, if you're in good gear, if you're over the level cap, if you're a tanky class, you might be able to go toe to toe with three or four, maybe even five of these things. 
But in 15 minutes, I was able to do 17 fights. Now, out of all these areas that I'm gonna show you, that was the highest I was able to get. That was the closest I was able to get to some of my previous videos. 17 fights in 15 minutes. But 15 minutes, I only dropped seven snouts and I dropped zero fabrics. That gave me a total comma drop of just over 3,000 commas. May not have a whole lot of commas, but it did have really good XP. The second area I went to was the Astrid sewers. Now this area was probably the trickiest because the maps are very small. I'm a craw and I need to keep my distance. Not to mention my character, she doesn't really have a whole lot of health, so she can't take too many hits. So I had to keep the groups between one to two. If you are a tank class, if you're a class that can steal health when you do damage, you could do a whole lot better down here, especially since the mobs tend to stay really close to you. The other tricky thing about this is it's a very small area. You'll probably even notice in the video that I'm kind of running just the same circle over and over. So the fights are really tight together and it's a small area where you can actually find what you're looking for, which down here, what you are looking for is, are the Strubian Millarats. So that's something you gotta consider when you come down here is, do you have a group or, or are you able to take on large mobs? If you can't fight those rats, none of the other ones have anything that's worth very much. I ran around for eight minutes before I finally gave up because I couldn't find any more groups where I could actually take them on. Now I'll tell you this, if you got a group and you can go down there and take on those large mobs, you'll probably make a killing. But yeah, after eight minutes, I finally gave up. I managed to drop three fangs, three fights. That's pretty good, which gave me a total of almost 3,000 commas. Now, the last place that I went to was the quarry. The quarry is near the top of the list, not because their items are worth a lot, but because there's three different characters that drop at a decent rate. What I noticed was a lot of these areas at the level 20s here in Astrup, their resources don't have a whole lot of value to them. And that's probably because it's all free to play area. And once you get into those upper levels, this is where a lot of people that aren't subscribed are gonna spend their time trying to level. So those are gonna really drive down the value of a lot of these resources. In the quarry, you can fight three of the four creatures to get decent drops. Each of their items drop at about 200 commas a piece. The Sherpier helmet, the 12 fingers ear, and the Hamry's glove. I stuck primarily to groups of one and two, and I did start doing groups of three on maps that were really large. But over here, in 15 minutes, I was able to do nine fights. In those nine fights, I managed to drop five of the helmets, four of the ears, and four of the gloves, giving me a total of a little over 2,500 commas. I know that's not a whole lot of commas, but that's the thing. This is the kind of the last area of the free to play area. It's the best XP, so the areas get fought a lot. Honestly, if you're needing commas and you don't need XP, I'd watch my Incarnum video and I'd shoot up there and you're gonna make probably at least two, maybe three or four times as many commas as you would down here, just because it doesn't get fought as much. Or watch my first video on areas to fight an Astra because actually the lower leveled areas, they tend to be worth more because you can fight bigger mobs and people don't typically wanna keep fighting the lower level things. They wanna move on to bigger XP. All right, now I got some tips for you. If you're gonna go fight in the Rotsir area, all of them over there have a 1% chance of dropping a bag of beans. Those bag of beans will sell for about 5,000 commas a piece in the market. If you head down into the sewers and you're gonna be fighting those Strubian Millarats, those things have about a 5% chance of dropping what's called a Strubian Millarat Slice. But if you have access to a level 32 tailor, you can craft what's called a Cape Rice. I know that sounds like a funny name. You'll have to go to the market and buy the other two resources you have. Unless you are fight, fighting Rotsiers also, you'll have two of the three resources needed to make this. But if you've got those resources, craft a cape rice and you can sell those for about 17,000 commas a piece. If you don't wanna try to sell the capes, you could take the capes up there to, to Banta or Brockmar and you can crush them for a chance of dropping range ruins. Range ruins sell for about 8,000 commas a piece. Now that's half the price of the cape itself, but ruins tend to sell very quickly. Also, 
I'm not sure if you noticed in the video of me running around the sewer area. I'll play a little more footage here for you. If you are a fisherman and you're trying to level, this is a great place to level your fishermen. Over in the quarry area, you'll notice that there are lots of areas with rocks that you can actually harvest. So if you're a miner also, you can go over there and if you're fighting those rot seers, you can be collecting and harvesting and leveling your miner at the same time you're leveling your character, which can be a great way to make some extra commas as well. Since you're already there, you might as well grab it. And one last tip for you if you're fighting the rot seers over there in the quarry area. The, the 12 finger rot seers plant traps in the ground. If you can stand in one spot and kill them from a distance, you can avoid a great amount of damage from them because you won't be triggering their traps. Okay, that's everything I got for this video, wrapping up the Astrib area for what to go fight to make commas. I hope you got some good stuff out of it. I know the commas are not near as impressive in this one, but like I said, this will be the last video I do with just a solo player because I believe the numbers will begin to look more appropriate once I start running as a group. Again, if you are a solo player, either try to find a group of people or get you some sidekicks. You don't have to have a multi-account of your own to be able to make money on these videos. My plans for the next video are going to be to cover areas that are around level 30, being the Astrib Cemetery. We're gonna go down a little further south into the Ingali's Fields, Bruce Bulger's Clearing, and the Amakna Cemetery. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. If you could do me a favor, hit that like button for me. It helps YouTube promote my videos, helps other people find the stuff that I'm making here. Also, if you hit the subscribe and notification button, you'll get notified when my videos go up so you can be first to market to try to get these resources and get them listed. Thanks again for coming by and I will see you on the next one.